Doctor, you talk an awful lot about stress. We've talked uh, about uh, it already here. What does it do to your body and what are the, some of the conditions that can lead to uh, too much stress? First of all, physical stress is really never a problem. If you work hard, you carry mm -hmm. things all day, and you have a really good night's sleep, you are fine. Physical stress has never been a problem. Mental and emotional stress, <clears throat> meaning living in constant worries, like the economy, like your mom getting sick, like, like uh, you're losing your job, that drains the energy. Stress is the main energy drainer in this world, and lack of energy is the only cause of illness. There's no other cause. So now when we look at the facts, that uh, when, you, when you have stress, your entire system goes into fight or flight mode. It shuts off your metabolism. You don't digest anymore, and you produce all these stress hormones that need to be used up, that makes people aggressive and all these mm. other elements. But the main thing is with stress, it dehydrates the system. So dehydration is the only cause of death Everybody at the end of the day that dies, dies of dehydration. That's the final cause of death. That you're so dehydrated that, that nothing works anymore. So dehydration is the main cause of aging. It's the main cause of wrinkles. It's the main cause of organs do not get enough blood flow, not enough oxygen, and so on. Mm -hmm. It's the main cause of high blood pressure. It's, you know, it's the main cause of uh, migraine headaches is the main cause of back pain. Because what do you do when you get stressed? You tie up your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So whether you have shoulder pain or you get neck pain and then you get a headache, because you cut all, everything off the blood flow and, and the oxygen flow to your brain, you start not seeing right. Mm -hmm. But also, all these mental conditions that we are in, being aggressive, on, like road rage, is caused by stress. You know, you, you, get, you get bothered again and again and again by somebody mm -hmm. else driving like crazy, and uh, all of a sudden you just flip, which is kind of like a nervous breakdown. Mm -hmm. That's what, basically what it is. If you come, when we say you flip out, yeah. it's basically a nervous breakdown. And living in life-threatening situations, um, like a war zone, for example, but it can be a war zone that we live in with the chemtrails, with the being afraid of getting vaccinated, mandatorily vaccinated, ending up in FEMA camps with the 40 million other people that they're going to put there. Um, so we live in these constant fears, but most of all today it's losing your job, mm -hmm. it's losing your house. And this is why this is caused on purpose. People might not believe that. But this entire economic problem has been caused on purpose. And it's caused to make sure that we do not have money anymore. So you cannot fight back if you don't have money. You are just obedient. If you have no food, you do everything. After 15 days after there's no food, cannibalism starts. After three days without water, you're starting to do everything for water, whatever mm -hmm. it takes. We're going to get there. And we had uh, 2012. And I tell you today, we're going to get there. Mm. And it's not taking long anymore, that mm. there will not be enough food, not enough water. The gasoline, we have more gasoline than we could use up in 100 million years. They tell you there's not enough, and we have to. See, they're, they're working towards a world religion, and they already implemented it. The world religion is the earth. You now have to sacrifice yourself for the earth. Don't exhale, it's bad for the earth. And just you existing, you have a carbon footprint, it's bad for the earth. Do you know why there are national parks? Because there's gold, diamonds, uh, gasoline, uh, or any other valuable element in the ground. So they cannot get rid of all these people that live there and have the mineral, mineral rights. So they just throw them all out, call it a national park, and so they own it all. <laughs> Very simple and easy. Mm. And... Um, you wouldn't believe just Yellowstone Park, you know, could supply the world with millions and millions. Every human being on Earth could have millions. Hmm. And um, so it is really not, um, it is really not that difficult anymore to look at the man behind the curtain, if you're really willing to look there. But most people are still afraid, hmm. but more and more are awake over 43 million people 
are now connected in some kind of freedom movement, health freedom movement, constitutional movement. Look at the huge success of Dr. Ron Paul. Mm -hmm. And who is following him? The smart ones, the younger people, mm -hmm. the educated people. You know, not the old ones that are so brainwashed that they have no chance. Some, some are so old and so long brainwashed over decades and decades by the, by the media. Just look MSNBC and all these junk TV channels. It makes me want to throw up every time I just turn on the TV. And if people don't see through that, oh, you idiots like, like uh, uh, Rush Limbo or this <laughs> clown O'Reilly, you know, the, they are just a part of the big, big treason. And one day they are going to have to answer for it. I'm absolutely sure. There will be come a day that all these people that in, multi, in, the, in the mainstream media manipulating the people or brainwashing the people for the new world order or for the one world religion or the, for the Illuminati or if you want to call them the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, the Bank of England, Queen of England, Queen of the Netherlands. It's just seven mm -hmm. people that own the world, but mainly the world is owned by the Vatican. 90% mm -hmm. of the world is owned by the Vatican. And the landmass is owned by the Queen of England. She owns, for example, Canada as the land, as a private person, not as the Queen of England. She's German anyway, I don't know if you know that. Mm -hmm. She's German. And, um, and the, uh, her husband too, they're both German. They just uh, came up with the House of Windsor later because the English people, the British people got really upset. The Germans are running their country. But she owns physically the landmass of Canada. She owns Australia. That's why when the Canadian Parliament passes something she doesn't like, she just overrides it. She did it four or five times just last year. So the <laughs> people of Canada have absolutely no say in anything. Mm. People just need to wake up to that and they need to understand that the Vatican owns 90% of the entire uh, value, the entire money on earth. It's owned by the Vatican. It's not owned by mm. China. It's a, it, people are so, so easy to manipulate and to derail. It's the, same, it's the same people that run the world for the last 2,000 years that's still running the world today. Mm. Has not changed. Mm.